our next match is a one fall with a 10 minute time limit. In this corner from St. Paul, weighing 325 pounds, Crusher Bivens! And his opponent from Hampton Court, England, weighing 255 pounds, Lord reaction of the crowds as the introduction of Lord Norman is made the current Global Wrestling Alliance television champion and he is moving out against Crusher Bivens yeah I, uh, it's Lord Norman you know fine athlete I don't want to say gone bad because every man has a choice his own opinions well he's not having much luck budging uh, big Crusher Bivens there I was just about to say Lord Norman giving up some weight uh, advantage to Crusher Bivens in this instant, collar and elbow, both men, center of the ring. Uh, Lord Norman, uh, I would give the edge to in this match, not only because he's the television champion, but just because of the, the moves that he is able to perform uh, in the squared circle. And it's Lord Norman with a slap across the face on Crusher Bivens. Oh. Bivens fires back with a right hand to the side of the oh. picks up Lord Norman, sets him for a body drop. And plants him flat on his back, sets him up again. And it's Bivens turning Lord Norman. Wow. Center of the ring. A tremendous body slam by Crusher Bivens, followed by an elbow, but Lord Norman able to get out of the way. Lord Norman came into this thing, Frank Cocky, saying, hey, this guy's a nobody, I can handle him. And what he got for it was he got slammed right flat on his back a couple times. Unfortunately, uh, he has got uh, a lot over this man. Ooh. Headbutt off the second rope by Lord Norman. That stuns Crusher Bivens. Chopped to the throat, and Lord Norman takes him over to the ring ropes and finally gets his head into the turnbuckle. Yeah, this, uh, this Bivens is a big, stiff, uh, probably not a prototype athlete, but a big, tough guy. Ooh. And it's Lord Norman was going for the cross body block. Finally able to get Bivens over. Bivens had picked him up. Norman hooked the leg, only manages a counter two. And both men back up to their feet. Lord Norman with a forearm across the back of the neck and a boot to the head. Close line by Lord Norman on Crusher Bivens. You know, it's guys like this Bivens that give the classical wrestlers like Lord Norman a real rough time because they're so, so unorthodox. Oh, on a crushing He's elbow. Him. He's got him. Into here. the chest cavity oh, by Lord Norman. Lord Norman not allowing the pin. Could have easily had a three count on the big man, Crusher Bivens. So he pulls him up by the hair, says, No oh, way. He's going for it again, again, Frank. This is uncalled for. He's got him. Whoa. And another crushing forearm into the chest cavity. Well, he got him that time. But that by was... Lord Norman. Who Wait a minute. He's going for it this again. time. He wins the match, but you see Lord Norman feeling he hasn't dished out enough punishment. The Crusher Bivens takes his position on the top rope. He's going for it again. The referee blocking it. Some of the fans egging on Lord Norman. Frankie Reyes, our referee, protecting Crusher Bivens, not allowing that to, to go on. And you see Lord Norman with the cheap shot just before.